My audience is made up today of people from Flint, and it's important to see how they live every day to fully understand this crisis. Take a look. My name is Melissa. I live here in Flint, and I live with my husband and my three sons. Before the water crisis, we were a normal family that went about our day never having to worry about poison water. We now almost completely rely on bottled water for everything. We're on our way to the fire station right now to pick up our one case of water that we're allowed per day. Thank you for everything you're doing. Imagine turning on your tap water and thinking, oh my God, that could kill me. The whole goal of every single day is to minimize our exposure to our toxic water. We have this new procedure. Sit down as a tub fills, use a cup and faucet to wash your face and hair and rinse well. And it's just long and it's annoying. Having to rely on bottled water is not just an inconvenience. It's changed our entire lives. Now every day is all about survival. I went through 10 bottles of water just to make dinner. Okay, this is a week's worth of water bottles that me and my whole family use. This is only a week. What makes Flint such a disaster is that this wasn't an accident. This was done to us. I'm outraged, I'm furious, and I'm disgusted. <laughs> All right! Once upon a time, we just used to see people just for colds. Now it's like everyone coming in for lead. You need to make an appointment? Patients are coming with unusual rashes, abdominal pains, non-specific behavioral problems. If you've been in Flint in the past two years, you've been exposed to lead. I have seen a lot of levels increase from the previous years. A lot of frustration and anger in the patients. We just treat them, we run the tests, we're just doing the best that we can do. I tell my patients the same thing I tell my family, don't drink the water. Can I get five? It's not fair to the kids that, you know, they're gonna be the victims of what the city did. No mother wants a sick child. As a mother, you want to do everything you can to protect them. And this is a situation where there's not much you can do to protect them. My name is Jerisha Darrell. I've stayed here in Flint for my whole life. Um, I have seven children. My youngest is two. My oldest is 15. So in between there are the rest. <laughs> when I heard the water might be poisoned, um, that's when I knew I needed to get my kids tested. That's when it, it actually all became so real. They all tested positive. My, my kids could have brain damage. This is the effect that lead has on children, you know, so. There's nothing you can do about it, you know. The government could have prevented this issue, but they didn't. They kept this as far back in the dark as they could. I feel like my kids don't matter. They can be poisoned. They're expendable. Why? Even if they fix the water pipes, the damage is already done. Hey, folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.